Welcome back. This is the ADR guys. What I'm going to show y'all today is I'm going to paint a picture frame it has an ugly frame. And the frame is a well, it's basically a cardboard frame with paper on it. Frames are getting expensive. Save it and I'll show you how to refinish it. The first step you want to do, of course, is tape off your edges. Being that this is paper, frame had some issues with peeling, as you can tell, and it was up. So what I did is I just went along and peeled off any of the areas that were bubbled peeling. That one was all right, it had a little bit. Here they are. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a distressed aged look because it kind of goes with the new decor that we're doing. First thing I'm going to lay down is a coat of primer. After the coat of primer, I'm going to go with a white, just a matte white, and it has primer in it. And I'm not going to coat the whole thing, I'm going to go around and do areas of it, real light areas. This is an aged copper. It has some metallic in it. And I'm gonna do the same with that. I'm gonna go around and just splotch paint it in between the white. The final coat of paint is gonna be this hammered black. All right. As you guys can see, I have gone around, put a nice, even, pretty thick coat of primer on it. Okay, the primer's done, and it looks real nice. Okay, <clears throat> I just sprayed the white coat on there. So just looking at it like this from a distance, you can see that I did not cover the entire frame, but it's all just random. That's what will give it that aged look. Okay, the white is dry. Okay, I just put the copper metallic on. See, I just kind of filled in around the wall. The copper metallic has had time to dry now, and I'm about to do the hammered black coat. Okay, the last coat is done. I let it dry. But before you start this process, you don't want it to be 100% cured. Because if it's 100% cured, it's going to be really hard for you to sand into that top coat and expose some of your bottom coats. And what you want to do is you want to get you a sanding pad. Because anything else on a frame like this you're not going to be able to get in the contours of the frame. So get you a sanding pad like this that's spongy on one side and has your sandpaper on the other. And this is a, a 120 grit right here and it seems to work really well. So here we go. Wanna start on your outside. Be smooth, sorry about that. Just rub ever so slightly. And that's it. <clears throat> so now we're gonna go on the inside. I'm gonna do the same. Just put it at a 90 degree angle. Try to get all the way up in the corner. And then lift out. And just look at it. And when you get to a point, you think, okay, that's what I like, and that's where you stop. It takes a few passes usually. And I kind of like that, so I'm going to leave that. <clears throat> so this here, this frame has a mitered corner. So you got to be careful you don't want to go over that mitered corner because when you try to do that side it's going to be really really ugly so what i do <laughs> those babies are up there playing is i take it and meet with the miter and just drag until you get the edges to what you like what looks good to you and 
and then take your hand like this, do it in contour. Go with smooth, smooth passes and try not to stop in the middle. If you need to, you know, do one contour at a time. Okay, you've reached what you're looking for. And I'm gonna come over here, do this contour. And I'm gonna get this side up here. My 45 is at. Now I'm gonna go across the top. Take a little extra more time in the corners. There's a little bit more build up of paint. Like that, you can see the build up of paint. So, you want to take a little extra time in the corners to make them all match. That's why you need to use one of these flexible sanding pads and then throw it on the floor. I'm gonna do this a little bit more down here and then smooth it out. And I kind of like how that has turned out. Because you've still got the black hammered look. But if you look through there, you can see the copper coming through and it's mixed with the white. So that looks real nice. Now use what you've got around the house and use a little creativity. And just think outside the box a little bit. Try something new. Hold it up so y'all can see what it looks like. All right. Well, I've sprayed the final finish on it, which is a polyurethane. And man, it looks really good. turned out really really nice and smooth and the trick to that when you're spraying it like I did I sprayed it with the polyurethane you want to take just nice even sprays like two sprays each back and forth let that dry and do another one and that's pretty much it well there's the finished product on the wall. You can see it looks pretty dang nice. But that's how you turn a cheap $5 piece of artwork from a dang craft store into something that looks really nice. People will think it's a more expensive piece. Alrighty, we'll see y'all next time.